Hello everybody and welcome to another small tutorial. Um, and this time I will uh, show how the uh, aperture size are on different um, aperture setting. In my, it will say, uh, it goes from 1.7 to aperture 16. And it's in my old uh, Olympus 35D, uh, I mean RD. <laughs> Yes, you can see it here. Nah. Um, I will set the uh, film speed to ASA 100 and the exposure to 1 uh, and 125 a second. <clears throat> the light is about 60 lux or lux. <clears throat> and I will begin with the uh, full open aperture at 1.7 so let us advance the camera and fire the shutter and you can see it's full yeah well at least full open and then we change it to one I mean not one point but two aperture two and uh, see how it will go so it's begin to getting smaller and then we change it to uh, 2.8 and nothing will happen in the lens but the, it will still when I advance the camera it will uh, get the aperture so and now we change it to aperture 4 there and do it again and you can see it getting smaller and smaller and now we set it to 5.6 <clears throat> now we really can see there is a lot of uh, I mean it's getting really small and then aperture 8 so. and then aperture 11 so there you can see it's there's only a small movement in the aperture <clears throat> plates and then we now ended up with aperture 16 so and there is only slightly movement and if I cover my put my finger over the the um, the sensor here light sensor you can see there is actually not any movement and if I set it to um, let's say 1.7 and cover it, it will still be open but if I set it to A automatic you can see what's happened it will probably be full open and then advance again it, you can see it it goes um, to a more closed <clears throat> so that was uh, actually that and if I set it to to flash what does happen how will the setting be there hmm. okay that's what flash so but that was all for me. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy the content and can probably use the info. So bye bye.